my slipper. You grabbed my slipper. Pre-match, getting in the zone for a match day, a massive game by watching Back of the Nets preview of the game today. Top tier content as always. Hello, it's Saturday the 28th of October and it's time for another match day vlog. It's a huge game. It's another biggest game of the season so far for AFCB. It's AFC Bournemouth versus Burnley at Dean Court this afternoon in the Premier League and another massive game. Two teams who really need to win this, both teams targeting this game as the game to win. We've not won this season, I'm pretty sure. Am I right in thinking Burnley haven't won? They've won one. They've won one. Yes, they beat Luton, of course they did. So thank you, Big Tell. So I'm Colin. I'm Terry. <laughs> Sorry, Big Tell. And we're heading over to Dean Court now for another massive game. Uh, thank you for everyone who watched the vlog last week, um, enjoying the, reveling in our pain last week uh, when we lost to Wolves 2-1. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, we've got the team news for this week and some changes as expected. Neto, um, after the calamity last week, which you might have seen my breakdown on the vlog last week for that, uh, he has, well, he is out injured, suspiciously, with an, he's out with an ankle injury. So today we've got Radu, starting goal, the Romanian uh, player, I think from Milan, we signed on loan, his first start in the Premier League. He's played both the cup games so far, been okay, not really had much to do, to be honest with you. So he's got a chance to take that number one spot from Neto if he performs today and Wednesday in the cup against Liverpool. So Radu in goal, uh, Lloyd Kelly at left back today, Kirk Hez has been, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a knock, he was struggling at the end of the game last week against Wolves. Uh, we've got Mepham back, which is great news. There's Mepham and Zavani in the middle, and we've got Aaron's uh, in the right. And interestingly, another big, the, the one that's the change of note is Semenyo is starting today. So Semenyo and Solanke both starting. So I'm encouraged by the team. Um, we've, it's a massive game. We really, really need to win today. After today, after the end of winnable October, yeah, we've not won any games. Uh, we've got Man City away next week, which Big Tail's going to. Yep, so <laughs> I'm not going to that, no way. And um, then we've got Newcastle at home. So two really, really tough games where it's unlikely we'll get anything out of. And so, Travers is back. Yes, I, I can't believe I've not mentioned this. Mark Travers is back. So uh, we sent him on loan in the summer to Stoke and we've recorded him on an emergency basis because uh, Neto's injured and Randolph, uh, Darren Randolph, who I don't know how he's got injured because he's not played. It's <laughs> been, uh, quite a miracle how this has happened. Are both out injured, so we've been able to recall um, Travers from Stoke, who's doing really well there. He's on the bench today as well. Um, I think if Radu, you know, if Radu doesn't um, perform today or on Wednesday, I think it could be Travers's another chance for Travers to take that number one shirt. So the main focus on us is the goalkeeping position at the moment, but. Forgetting that massive game, need to win. I'm gonna. I I think it's gonna be a high-scoring game today. I'm gonna say four-three win for Bournemouth. No, I think both teams are gonna go for it. There's gonna be goals. There's gonna be chances. It's gonna be a nervy affair. I'm gonna say four-three. Big tell. What do you reckon? Prediction. Feeling a bit resigned. I go one-one. One-one. Yeah. Would you be happy with a point today? No. No, you need three points. No. I think both us and Burnley both need the win. A point doesn't really do much for either team. Probably better for Burnley after they've already got the win than us. Um, but yes, join us as we head over to Dean Court, a very wet Saturday once again, for another nerve-wracking weekend of sport. So come along for the journey. There was actually the news released this week well, actually last week that the club have banned um, um, umbrellas. You can't take umbrellas into the ground now. I saw a tweet uh, last week where there's only two clubs in the Premier League that have banned umbrellas. One of them is Chelsea and the other one is us. Uh, they couldn't have picked a worse week to announce this change because it, the weather is absolutely horrendous. Something I forgot to mention 
is due to the fact that me and my dad have to get our tickets for home games at different times, at different points dropped, I'm in the south stand today and Big Tail is in the east stand next to the Burnley fans. So uh, hopefully, if dad learns how to film landscape mode, we'll have footage from two different stands today. We shall, we'll, you'll, you'll find out by the time we finish this vlog whether we get footage from different stands. Um, so yeah, we're not sat together. So you won't have to see Big Tail's nose hair this week. For those who watched last week, you'll understand what that means. This is a look. That's where I left my chest of drawers. I'll pick them up after the game. I missed a chance there to say, I hope we don't get a draw today. <laughs> was it you were just saying? Oh, I just wish I could feel confident like I did at the start of the season. It's just, I, know, I thought we were going to have an okay season, mid table. But it just, it's not happening. We just don't seem to be good enough at the moment, unfortunately. Let's hope. Today. We're, only, we're, only nine, we're only nine games into the season, to be fair. It's over a quarter of the way through. Well, when you put it like that, yeah, to be fair, there was a lot of optimism at the start of the season. It does feel like everything's a bit flat yeah, at it's, the moment. It's, it's just, I just can't feel the enthusiasm. Well, if they win today, I'll be back and wait. Well, well, actually, they're trying, you know, they're, they're, they're trying different things to build the atmosphere at Dean Court. There's going to be flags and all the chairs today. All the seats. Oh, jolly good. So we get to wave our flags. So that'll help us score lots of goals. We're back again. Now it's going in the east stand. You excited for the east stand? You excited to go in the east stand today? Absolutely thrilled. <laughs> check for offside, come on, come on. And ball, and ball. <laughs> oh no, it's a goal. Yes, it was 
Time, one all. We grew into the game. Uh, Semenyo and Scott have been really good so far. First 20 minutes or so was a bit iffy. Heads dropped off to Burnley's goal. But then, as soon as the um, as soon as got the equaliser, great run from Semenyo. Although, I think we've been a better team really since then. Uh, we're growing in confidence. Uh, really hope we can push on in the second half, not only drop, because the intensity towards the end was good. I'm starting to see more of the high press that Iriola's teams are known for. Um, and all the front three were pressing really well towards the end and putting a lot of pressure on their keeper, who's had a bit of a struggle, to be honest with you. So yeah, confident. I'm going to say 2-1. We've got a second half. Hold on. Get those three points and move on. From the side at half time. Yeah, it's an uh, even game. Keeper's not really been tested either end. But the form of the ground into the game. We're certainly the better side for the last 20 minutes. Uh, we'll see how the second half goes. It's interesting watching from the side, makes a nice change. But anyway, let's hope uh, the second half gives us the result we all need. I certainly hope so. I feel they've been playing a bit better this week. savania has been very good, so fingers crossed. Go. 
little bit offside. Hopefully there's no VAR check for this. It did look offside to be fair. Come on. It must be close, they're taking their time. Taking a while to look at this. Very trendy, <laughs> absolutely soaked. Heavens have opened just as the game finished. So final score, Bournemouth two, Burnley one. Finally, Iriola's first win of the season, first league win of the season. Thoroughly deserved, I thought. Second half, we were pretty dominant throughout. Didn't have any clear cut chances, but we were definitely the better side. Um, I was surprised at how poor Burnley were, to be honest with you. Um, I can see why they're struggling. Um, you know, hopefully they can turn it around, but you know, they don't, maybe they're low on confidence, but they did look pretty poor. Um, so second half, 2-1, it was a great goal from Philip Billing, uh, lobbed the keeper. It looked like when he kicked it, that it was too, he kicked, kicked it a bit low, but he somehow managed to lob the keeper who flapped it, 2-1. Um, and then after that, we did sit back a little bit, and at the end there was a VAR check, which went on for about five, six minutes, which was absolutely ridiculous when Jay Rodriguez went through and scored. It looked clearly offside to me and to Big Tail in the East End. I was at the side. Yeah, so, but yeah, got the win, three points. What a relief. We need that going into the next two games against City and Newcastle. Um, just some end thoughts from me. Uh, I thought Alex Scott looked quality. Some of his um, footwork was absolutely brilliant today. Uh, you can see why we invested a lot of money in him. Um, I thought Philip Billing was great as well. Aaron's was fantastic. Uh, Kelly, probably man of the match, to be fair. He was really, really good. Radu made a really good save at the end. He, Radu didn't have much to do, but everything he did do, he did really well. He made a good save right at the death. Um, and his distribution and his handling was really good as well. So really happy with how he performed as well, which is really good with Neto injured. So yes, confident. Um, and now we can relax a little bit. We got the cup game against Liverpool on Wednesday. I assume, I imagine there'll be wholesale changes for that and City next week. I'm not going to City away, but Big Tail is. So uh, maybe there'll be a vlog next week. We'll see. Before we go, any final thoughts, Big Tail, on that game? Just totally relieved to get a win. I think that's what the, the club needed, yeah, like the team. And I think uh, hopefully we can kick on from there. I don't, I'm not, I don't think we'll get much out of the next two games, but that doesn't matter. We're on the way and um, we've got some points on the ball. So, uh, so it's just, yeah, it's, it's a good result. And, um, 
we were the better side today, which is lovely to say. To say we're the better side makes all the difference. So yeah, I'm pleased about that. And out of the bottom three, yeah. for now. <laughs> out of the bottom three, which is really great to see. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if you like football vlogs, Bournemouth vlogs, Premier League vlogs, footballing vlogs of any kind, why not subscribe and like this video? It really helps my channel out. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. We may see a video with Big Tow at City next week. We'll see, but we'll definitely be back in two weeks' time for Newcastle at home. Another big game. The return of Eddie Howe once again to the Vitality. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great evening. Bye bye.